Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Pedro. Huge thanks to Pedro and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Pedro reached out asking for a spider-themed deck led by Shelob, Child of Ungoliant, and I was more than happy to help. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Shelob was the last of the great spiders spawned by Ungoliant. Ungoliant helped Morgoth steal the Silmarils from Theodore back during the First Age. She grew fat and powerful after draining the light from the trees of Valinor. She was also greedy, as all spiders are, and wanted to devour the gems that Morgoth had taken. While fleeing the Undying Lands, Morgoth fed them to her, one by one, and she demanded the last of them as well, the Silmarils. But Morgoth had arrived near Angbad and summoned his army of Balrogs, and they beat back on Goliant. Barely. Licking her wounds, Ungoliant retreated to the dark corners of the world and spawned many children, most of which she devoured in her hunger. But one child survived and eventually made her way to Mordor, where she would snack on unsuspecting orcs and nasty fat little hobbitses. Shelob, Child of Ungoliant, is a 6-mana 8-8 legendary spider demon with Death Touch and Ward 2. She also gives other spiders we control Death Touch and Ward 2. Additionally, whenever another creature dealt damage this turn by a spider we control dies, we create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a food artifact with pay 2, tap and sacrifice this artifact, we gain 3 life, and it loses all other card types. So we'll want a lot of spiders in our deck, as well as ways to have them deal damage to other creatures. This way we can turn them all into food. Because that is all other creatures are to the mighty Shelob. Food. Some are tastier than others, but in a pinch, we can eat anything. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. This year, Ultimate Guard released this gorgeous collector's album case with art from male Olivier Henry. The album is absolutely gorgeous, and it's large enough to fit quadro pages. Now, this is a limited edition, and I don't know if it's available on Amazon yet. So check your local game store, or click on the link down below to Ultimate Guard's Amazon store to see if they have it in stock yet. After all, who knows what the future brings? In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. I've started streaming on Twitch. I've been playing mostly Final Fantasy XIV for the first hour or so, and switching over and making commander decks for future videos. If you'd like to see what I'm working on, check out twitch.tv slash Wildfire. Command Tower. Unclaimed Territory. Path of Ancestry. Secluded Courtyard. Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, Overgrown Tomb. Undergrowth Stadium, Woodland Cemetery, Deathcap Glade, Tainted Wood, Lanoir Wastes, Swarm Yard, Golgari Rot Farm, Rogue's Passage, Reliquary Tower, Bajuka Bog, Six Swamps, and Twelve Forests make up the land base for our deck. Knight of the Sweet's Revenge, Sakura Tribe Elder, Sky Shroud Claim, Nature's Lore, Rampant Growth, Three Visits, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Thought Vessel, Herald's Horn, Utopia Sprawl, Wild Growth, and Jahira, friend of the forest, help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Night's Whisper, 
Sign in Blood, Stinging Study, Read the Bones, Last March of the Ants, Death Reap Ritual, Oren Frostfang, Greta Sweet Tooth Scourge, Savvy Hunter, Victimize, and Journey to Eternity help us to dig through our deck and replay cards as necessary. Chainweb Arachnir, Assassin's Trophy, Cosmic Hunger, Golgari Charm, Arachnogenesis, Obscuring Haze, Return to Nature, Bushwhack, Spinning Wheel Kick, Stew the Conies, Prize Fight, Master's Rebuke, and Prey Upon help us to keep our opponents in line. Crippling Fear, Silk Lash Spider, and Culling Ritual help to reset the board as needed. Deadly Recluse, Twin Silk Spider, Arasta of the Endless Web, Mirkwood Bats, Penumbra Spider, Shelob Dreadweaver, Drider, Sweet Gum Recluse, Lolth Spider Queen, Mirkwood Spider, Ruins Recluse, Gyome Master Chef, Rebel in Riches, and Marionette Master make up the core of our deck and how we plan on winning. Supporting our plan, we've got Viridian Longbow, Swiftfoot Boots, Thornbite Staff, Curse of Clinging Webs, Finn the Fangbearer, Malakir Rebirth, Supernatural Stamina, Gaia's Gift, and Heroic Intervention. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 34 lands, 1 MDFC, and 15 pieces of RAM. 11 pieces of card advantage, 13 pieces of interaction, 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Return to Nature and Bajuka Bog, one sudden I win card in Marionette Master. Remember, all the creatures that we kill and make copies of are actually food tokens, so Marionette Master can win us the game just by sacrificing the creatures we've stolen from our opponents. We also have plenty of ways to sacrifice food tokens in Savvy Hunter, Greta Sweet Tooth Scourge, and Guillaume Master Chef. But at the end of the day, the purpose of this deck is to use fight spells to kill our opponent's creatures, and then beat them to death with copies of their own creatures. We've got lots of ways to protect our creatures so we can win those fights, allowing us to kill our opponents quickly and easily. Do you have a Shelob Child of Ungoliant deck? What's your secret deck tech? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Pedro, Tom, Midge, Detroff, Rally, Frank, Alex, Jenny, Alex, Julio, and Michael. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.